After I had finished The Secret Garden, which was just my dream musical, um, I wanted to find something else to do that I would love as much as I love The Secret Garden. So I, I wanted to do something Russian because Russian, the Russian palette had not been used so much in the theater. And also I love Russian music, Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff, I grew up on those composers. So I went through War and Peace and, and Anna Karenina, and I said, no, no, that it's too unhappy, can't end with uh, under the under the under the wheels of a train. So I want to find something that has an has an ending that I feel is is uplifting and gives something to the audience. And I read Dr. Zhivago, and Dr. Zhivago did that because at the end, he dies, yes, of course, but his art and the love that he had for Lara and for his country live on in his poetry. So that, that's something that is so exciting to me, that, that the, the continuation of life um, beyond death, it's, it's, uh, you know, just, it's just wonderful that we can do that. Anthony Warlow is one of those rare artists that has not only a God-given voice that very few people in the world have, but he has, um, he has a depth of, of a spirit. He's an old soul, and he can embody the power of Pasternak, of Yuri Zhivago, who is a poet, an artist, a healer, and, um, and, and a lover. You know, and he just has all those things, and it just is so completely evident in Anthony. I mean, not only is he a great singer, but he is a fantastic actor. And I knew that from hearing him sing, that he was a great actor. Um, but I think that this role allows him to discover the, the scene roles that he does so incredibly well. He was in New York. Frosty, John Frost and, and Anthony were in New York about a year and a half ago, and they were with our producer, Anita Waxman, and I guess they said, now, isn't Lucy doing Dr. Zhivago? How is it going? So Anita called me up on the phone and said, Lucy, guess who I'm having lunch with? Frosty and Anthony, and they're interested in talking with you about Zhivago. I said, I'm in my apartment, bring them over, I would just love to see them. Then the doorbell rang moments later, and I opened the door, and there was Anthony Warlow, and I felt like, oh my God, this is the Annunciation. This is Anthony Warlow, this is the Angel Gabriel, this is my Yuri Zhivago. And so I brought them into the apartment and spent the next three hours singing the score and telling, this, telling the story. And by the end of that time, I was pretty sure that we had established something that was going to go forward. And here we are, going forward. Is that the talent in Australia is phenomenal. The, the actors, the singers, are so beautifully trained and of course our design team is amazing so we are so happy to be here Des Makinoff is one of the not only one of the best and most successful directors but he's one of the most fun people to work with he just is funny he's easy he makes everybody feel comfortable and it isn't just in the rehearsal room. Des has been working with us, with the creative team, right from the beginning. I mean, we've all planned how the show would work together. So as we, you know, come up with new songs and scenes, Des is thinking, oh, now I can light it that way and I can make the people go on the stage this way and there can be a hanging at this scene. <laughs> you just see his mind working. But not only does it work in terms of staging, Des is, has given us ideas, creative ideas, that are wonderful. My favorite place in Sydney is the rehearsal room and the Lyric Theatre. <laughs> now we've had some beautiful sails in the harbor. I was at the, at the uh, fireworks on New Year's Eve in Sydney and oh my god that was just splendid when Anthony and Lucy sang at the Opera House. And, I love, I love Australia. It's a wonderful country.